Little Inventors started in Sunderland where I was born. I challenged hundreds of children to think up invention ideas and ask local makers to turn them into real things. And we got connected with an organisation in Canada called NSERC, which has led to this amazing Life in Space project. One of NSERC's main objectives is uh, fostering a science culture in Canada. So what better way than to engage youth at, um, from ages five and up, um, getting them excited about STEM, and the arts as well, and having them work with scientists and engineers and makers all across the country. Canadian astronaut David Saint-Jacques officially launched Little Inventors, Inventions for Space, in November 2017. I have always loved inventing, scratching my mind for something new, because invention is creativity, and creativity is fun. Think about ways that could help us for the space program. Simple things like ways we could eat better in space, communicate more easily with our families and friends. There is no end to what you could think of. Well, space is always the ultimate frontier, isn't it? And it's the dream. And there was something fantastic in um, when David Saint-Jacques did the um, challenge video, so the message to the children. He said how they were going to be the astronauts of the future. And I think that there's no better way to inspire uh, imagination. When we develop resources, for us it's really important that they work, very simply, that, um, that they're suitable for teachers. We make sure that they are close to the curriculum, that they're relevant. We don't try to cover everything, but we want to inspire. That's the thing that we feel like we can really add. I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Wow. When you're drawing it on paper, it's what you're thinking of. But once you have a little idea of what someone sees in your picture, and they've made it real, it makes it a whole, like, different, amazing thing, and it's wonderful. It was brilliant to see all of the children's um, invention ideas in Canada. We got about uh, 3,000 invention oh, wow. ideas That's of good. many different types. We want to encourage the, the bonkers ideas as well as the practical. There are no limits on this project. And really, there were some fantastic ideas. Canadian Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station 4 for a check. This is Christian Riel at the Canada-wide Science Fair in New Brunswick. How do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. How do you hear me? The children that were the winners, basically, that were announced, um, we know that it's something they're going to take with them um, forever. But it's also in spite of the others. So the first winner of the Little Inventors Inventions for Space is Connor Brown, who invented Space Boots imprints. Hi, David. My name is Connor. Talking to David St. Jacques. Live from space was definitely the most exciting but also nerve-wracking moment of my life. I never thought I'd be talking to David, and to experience that is definitely amazing. I have to say, the space boots, what better way to mark uh, Canada up in space than having the, uh, the mark right on the boot there. It was such a simple idea. We know that we can still see some strong sort of footprint on the surface of the moon, but what about if we could actually see his name on the imprint? And the second winner is Amy Clearhouse for our invention, the personal Canadarm. My invention is the personal Canadarm. It is a mini version of a Canadarm that can be attached to your bathroom wall. That's a great invention, and you know, we could actually use this here because that's one of the problems we have is things fly away all the time. I think what's at the heart of Little Inventors is taking children's uh, ideas seriously. And the reason why that's important is because it hopefully uh, instills confidence in the children to believe in their ideas. And hopefully this will continue their passion for invention. I haven't seen a teacher that we explain the project and they don't say, wow, I want to participate. Or a teacher that has participated and that doesn't want to do it again. The, the, the response from teachers has been amazing. They want it and they want to do it again, 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 again and again. Winning makes me feel like I can do almost anything in the world. Definitely makes me want to do something with space and science. We hope that across the broad spectrum of other topics, both scientific and technological, that we will find other exceptional stories to tell and other exceptional stories to engage the children of Canada with. <laughs>